To walk behind Iru Robinson is to walk in the footsteps of a legend. Growing up in the segregated South, Robinson was undeterred in his pursuit of higher education. In 1963, he enrolled as the first black student in the University of Florida College of Pharmacy. He then became the first black PhD graduate in the history of the University of Florida. His years as a graduate student were spent working as a staff pharmacist at the Student Health Clinic and in the Industrial and Manufacturing Laboratory in the College of Pharmacy basement. He felt isolated at times, but his steadfast pursuit to become a black role model in pharmacy was unwavering. After graduation, Robinson became the first black PhD senior research scientist at Pfizer. At the age of 28, he was appointed dean of the Florida A&M School of Pharmacy, becoming the youngest pharmacy dean in the nation. He would later serve as dean at Howard University College of Pharmacy, worked at Merck Pharmaceutical Company, and pursued entrepreneurial interests around the world. More importantly, Robinson was a man deeply devoted to service and advancing blacks in pharmacy. He founded and served as executive director for the National Pharmaceutical Foundation for 17 years and was instrumental in establishing the Student National Pharmaceutical Association, an organization where UF's own Joseph Washington just completed his term as national president. Robinson wrote about the struggles blacks faced in entering the profession and advocated for diversity among state and national pharmacy organizations. Michael Jackson, executive vice president and CEO of the Florida Pharmacy Association, was a pharmacy student at Florida A&M when Robinson was dean. He was a, well, I would say a role model that would help us understand what's important in leadership. And he was a, a, a good mentor for pharmacists like me who were interested in trying to make a difference in improving health. As a trailblazer and pioneer in pharmacy, Robinson's exemplary career was grounded in the knowledge and skills he obtained at UF. He is a man of courage and conviction and paved the way for generations of minority graduate students and pharmacists to follow in his footsteps.